Hello everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today <clears throat> we are going to be looking at um, a material setup. Uh, I added this, I, me I mentioned this in one of my previous uh, series, this is more just a standalone video today where we're going to be talking about how to get this flickering light effect. If I zoom in a little bit more on here you can see our little recording or like watching symbol is playing. And you can see this on all of our cameras. <clears throat> and um, this is a really nice effect to bring your world to life. It just adds uh, a little bit more. You could have like um, consoles with like flashing buttons. And this would work really nicely for that. Um, and it's a really simple but nice effect to have. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to create a new material. Also, I'll go through the camera setup as well. Basically, I just downloaded this camera off of a um 3d website basically and it was free um and i've just put it in to this blueprint <clears throat> now it obviously didn't have its own little kind of flashing red light um so what i did is i just added a sphere and placed it under the bottom to add my material to <clears throat> we're going to create a new material so that we can continue on um making this so we'll call this uh camera light toot mat now we don't need to change anything with the material itself we just need it to be as is and um how we're going to get that flickering back and forth is we're going to affect the time so we need the time node there we go. Uh, we'll also need a parameter called flicker. And that will control the pace of the flicker. So what we'll do first is multiply that together, <clears throat> like so. And I found 0 0.75 was pretty nice for me. Um, you'll see uh, the results at the end. Then we need the sign node. I'll talk a bit more about the sign node in a moment, but we'll we'll finish up the actual setup first. We got the multiply here. So we want to multiply, and I found my value was very nice at 10. Uh, and then we're gonna divide by five. And uh, the final thing that we need to do is if you hold down three and click, you'll get a constant three vector. And we're going to make this a lovely red. Now, again, you can make yours any color you want. And then if you hold down M and click again, you'll get a multiply. The divide goes into the top. And then we're dividing it by this red color. And that will go into the emissive. And the reason we're putting it into the emissive is because that will let off a very illuminating red value. Okay, so we're back in here. I had a small issue with, um, it froze basically. So yeah, this is the setup um, to get the flashing. So you can see it's now actually flashing uh, as opposed to just being frozen on the color. Um, and the reason we get this effect is purely because of the sign node. If I was to plug that multiply just straight into the next multiply, it would just basically, the time nodule would just basically mess it up. It would have crazy numbers and would be all over the place you'd have a more um sort of sporadic flash um effect whereas because we use the sign it it works similar it's called the sine wave it works similar to um a clamp but it kind of waves between minus one all the way up to uh plus one and then back down to zero and it works like a, a curvature um as opposed to just going directly one and two. Otherwise, it would it, we wouldn't have this kind of glowing to red, then back glow to black, back to red, back to black. Um, but yeah, hopefully you found this useful. You can use this for like any color. So for example, if I wanted to change this now, I could make this blue and have ourselves a blue um, color instead. There you go. You got a nice blue color. Um, or we could have like a nice green one as well. 
So you can change this with lots of different things. You Using the emissive, you could also set this up to uh, have like um, flashing ambulance lights um, or police car lights, you know. Uh, you could also do, like I've said before, buttons and, and like the CCTV camera, things like that. You can change it for lots of different uh, scenarios. Uh, so hopefully you found this useful. Thank you so much guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Much love. Take care. Bye.